alternative blend is made possible through the generous underwriting support of The Green Solution. Today we have one of our resident medical experts with us, Dr. Ben Cowan, who's going to help us through this question about what are cannabinoids? We hear so much about CBD, but there are hundreds of variations of cannabinoids, and we're going to learn a little bit about that. Welcome, Dr. Ben. Yeah, thank you for having me back. Thank you for coming back. Okay, yeah. so there was a question I asked you the last time we were together. We're going to get to it in a little bit. But in the meantime, the more I dive into this, the more confused I get. There's so much to this. We hear so Absolutely. much about CBD. Everybody's CBD crazy. CBD's in everything. But what I'm learning is CBD is but one of hundreds of variations of cannabinoids. I, for instance, I heard last night, uh, I was at a panel discussion and heard something about CBN, yep. which I want you to tell me. Cannabinol, yeah. Yes, correct. I want you to tell me about, but let's back up and tell me, let's talk in general about cannabinoids. It's a broad topic. Absolutely. So when we talk about cannabinoids, we're talking about all of the compounds, all the chemicals that can come off of a cannabis plant. There's literally hundreds of, of different cannabinoids. Um, the, obviously the two that we're most familiar with being THC and CBD, right. we also have hundreds of others, some of which we still haven't even begun to research. And so things like CBN, CBG, CBC, and then you have variants, THCV, THCVA, there's, there's literally hundreds and hundreds of these and, that and, are and out there. People like me just kind of get lost in all that. What do I need to know at this point? Absolutely. And, and I think when we talk about cannabinoids as a, as a healthcare product, right? We want to look at it as they're going to target, let, let's back up one step okay. and talk about, and last time we talked a little bit about the endocannabinoid system okay. and the receptors that are found within the, within the body, right? right? So we have two primary receptors. We now know that there's a third receptor, which we're not going to chase that rabbit today. <laughs> That's but another show. Yeah, it's another, <laughs> it's a whole other conversation. Um, we have the CB1 receptor and the CB2 receptor, right? right? CB1 being located primarily in the central tissue, being the brain, the spinal cord, things of that nature. Mm -hmm. CB2 being primarily in the periphery, being muscles and peripheral nerves. Mm -hmm. Um, we look at it in, in lymphatics and, and immune tissue and things like that. Okay. So when we talk about cannabinoids, we really want to break it down into which ones target the CB1 receptor versus which ones target the CB2 receptor. And the reason for that is that's going to tell us more about what is this cannabinoid trying to do? What's it trying to accomplish within the body? So if I have, uh, I don't know, neuropathy, I, I'm, I'm going to look at a different product, obviously, than if I have, say, I don't know, muscle pain. Or no, no, that's the same. Uh, <laughs> so yes, a little bit. No, okay, so, yeah, a so little bit. Versus, a little versus bit. what? Versus seizures. Correct. Yeah. And so when we talk about systemic approach, right? And so we're talking about looking at the whole body, right? We, we know that the whole body is controlled via the brain, right? Mm -hmm. And so that becomes our central processing unit for everything. Okay. And so when we talk about seizures, for example, right? It's not just one muscle. It's, a, it's an entire body issue. So we want to CBD look back. One. CB1, correct. Okay, yes. CB1. Okay. And so those receptors that um, that target that CB1 receptor, especially within the brain, mm -hmm. those those cannabinoids are going to be the ones that tend to affect um, that that type Systemic of uh, that issues. correct, uh, like a seizure and things like that. THC, for instance, THC has a very high affinity, a high binding to that CB1 receptor. CBN also a high affinity for binding to that CB1 receptor. When we start looking at other issues, digestive issues mm -hmm. or peripheral pain, so mm -hmm. ow, my knee hurts versus mm -hmm. ow, my whole body hurts. Okay. Now we're looking at things that target that CB2 receptor, CBD being a great example for that. We think CBC, CBG also, those are the cannabinoids that tend to bind a little bit more effectively, a little bit more efficiently to that second receptor, being that CB2 receptor. Well, while we're there, you've mentioned a couple of things. One is the one I heard about last night, which is CBN. What Correct. is that? Cannabinol. And so when we talk about cannabis, right, as a plant, we're going to really, and, and this is a very basic breakdown, we're going to look at our, our raw product mm -hmm. being um, which pro products, which cannabinoids are found on the raw plant, mm -hmm. right? Um, these are going to be your acids. This is your CBDA, right? Your mm -hmm. CB, or excuse me, THCA. Those are the big two, right? Right. The ones we, we hear the most about. That's what we hear about. Correct. Yeah. When we heat those products, right? And so, for instance, as we smoke the plant, mm -hmm. right? Um, or that vape. Or vape, vape. Okay. correct. Anytime we heat that product up, that acid is going to burn off and we're left with THC or CBD, right? Okay. If we allow this product to age over time because it is a biological product, it mm. degrades, right? And it's going to naturally break down. It's mm. naturally going to change. THC, as it ages, as it breaks down over time, becomes CBN. 
And so CBN wow. is going to, and this is why we believe we have this high affinity binding for that CB1 receptor. We're going to be able to have some of the therapeutic benefits of binding to that CB1 receptor without all of the other side components or, or side uh, effects. We'll go with side effects. Uh, psychograph, <clears throat> psychoactive uh, Correct. elements. Well, that makes kind of sense to me because someone with last night at this little panel I was at was talking about how um, they had they had found olds like marijuana and then smoked it and then they just slept. Absolutely. Be because it, and, they, and, they, and they liken CBN to a sort of more of a nighttime kind of thing and CBD is more of a daytime thing. Is that too yeah, that, much of a stretch? Uh, yeah, I would probably say it's a little bit of a stretch. Okay. So CBN, you'll hear it used a lot of time as kind of couch lock, right? We think that it has, uh, it's the reason why people just want to, you know, Chill. very parasympathetic, very rest and digest, very let's just relax and let the body kind of veg Chill. out, right? Okay. And chill. Okay. And, and so CBN, we think that CBN is kind of responsible for that. And so as we talk about that that rest, that parasympathetic, that, that down regulation, mm -hmm. um, that's where that CBN comes in. And so the big question then becomes, okay, why? What's the point? Why take CBN? Well, in today's world, right? Uh, I had a professor in college that used to tell us that every person, every patient is deficient in two things, water, Sleep. and rest and yeah. so that's I, I, where the I'm guilty of both yeah right? I'm guilty of both. I am as well you know and and uh the more I track my sleep habits and, and look at uh, at how I'm sleeping the the phases of my sleep and mm -hmm. things like that mm -hmm. um I start to realize that I'm not getting the restful sleep that I should be and a lot of that is because whether it's the phones uh we're, we're so plugged in and, and we yeah. talked about this before the show right mm -hmm. we're so plugged into everything and there's so much winding up that happens throughout the day yeah. we don't take the time to kind of relax turn off switch off mm -hmm. and as a result we're not getting the recovery that we need and so that's something that cbn can really help with 100 percent. okay so we've got a little time left in the segment so i i want to get to the question i asked the last time you were on yeah. and you were like okay that's a whole nother show <laughs> and, and that is you know uh, it's I'm, I'm learning that CBD alone, I mean, it's, it's a good product, but it's even better. It has a little THC in it. Not enough, to, you know, with to make you high or the, the psychoactive effects, but just a little bit. Why is that? That's a that's a great question. So I, and I'll turn around and answer a question with a question. Um, we're, we're finishing up basketball season right now. Right. Yeah. What makes the Golden State Warriors one of the best teams that I've ever played? Oh, gosh, it's, it's a sports analogy. Yeah, <laughs> the answer is it's not just one person, right? It, it's, it's a, a whole collective, team. right? It's a team approach. Um, one person is responsible for one job. The coach is responsible for yes. organization. Yes. The managers are responsible for managing things. The, the sports medicine team, uh, it's everybody together. And to use one of your analogies, right? Um, raising water rises all, all ships, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah, right. And, and so um, it's that collective um, component, right? It, excuse me. You probably heard the term uh, the entourage effect, right? I have. And the entourage effect is basically these, all of these products, while yes, they're, they do specific things, it's that, that raising tide. It, it's everything working together because it's not as simple as just, oh, well, this, it, we're, not, we're not light switches, right? We're not, oh, right. well, let me take this, plug this in, and turn this. X plus Y doesn't always equal Z in the body, right? Yeah. Sometimes X plus Y equals purple. Uh, and when we're talking about just healthcare, yeah, and and so and, and maybe blue for me and red for you. I mean, that's the, exactly. the difference too, right? Individual to individual. Yeah, and as we talk about what's the point, what what are we trying to do? Uh, and and I think that this is especially in cannabis, we see this a lot where people go, you know, oh well, cannabis cured my fill in X, the blank, right? right? And, and cannabis doesn't cure anything. That I learned from you. It yes. does. I mean, last the last time I learned from you, it doesn't really cure anything. What it does is help bring the body back into balance where your body maybe can help heal itself. The Alternative Blend is made possible through the generous underwriting support of The Green Solution.